Well, hello. I find myself as one of the many people now working at home uh, and it's going to be a difficult time for me because I just love the office environment. But um, it would have been my devotions at Solstice on Tuesday, so I decided that now was the time for me actually to perhaps bring something to, to you today. So I'm sat here in the lovely sunshine just having a little break for a few minutes and uh, I've had a drink and a sandwich and uh, recently I've been thinking about um, being an encouragement or if people encourage me or who encourages me, who's played an influence on my life. And uh, I've been thinking about this and then I went down to um, Bournemouth recently. The ISB were at Paul and um, I'm not really a bando if I'm honest, but actually it was a really good weekend. And on the Sunday morning, Major Noel Wright at the beginning of the meeting invited us all to uh, share with people around us um, about who'd influenced or who encouraged us or encourages us in our life. So I'd got Oliver and Oscar sat next to me and um, I was talking to them and they told me that mummy and daddy encouraged them and uh, the different ways that they did that, which was lovely to hear. And then they asked me and I said, actually, the primary encouraged me. This confused them a little bit because they actually commented and said they felt that I encouraged the primary. But actually, when we spoke about it, we could see that, yes, I do encourage the primary. I really hope I do. But all the joy that they bring to me and all the encouragement they give to me. I mean, recently, they have started praying on their own. Just, just say to them, I just say to them, do you want to pray? And they pray. So for the last few weeks, um, we'd had like four children each Sunday pray. And these were different children from age two right up to uh, six, which is amazing. And that's really encouraged me. But lots of people um, encourage me along my life. And I've got somebody at the core who's encouraged me since I was, as, well, as young as I can remember. So a good few years ago. And uh, she's a really lovely woman of God. And um, I'm not going to say her name. I'm sure she'll know who she is. And uh, it's good, isn't it, to take time and think about who encourages us and who um, inspires us on our journey especially at the moment when things are so difficult and we are all so concerned about our world and what is just going to happen and how long this is going to last. It's nice to just stop and to think. At Birmingham Citadel, um, I'm blessed by all our young people, as I'm sure many of you are, and they inspire me and encourage me as much as I try to inspire and encourage them. And I'm grateful to our officers, Claire and Adrian, who just give them such a uh, a lot of time in the meetings and things and the opportunity to take part and and to feel encouraged and to feel part of everything we do so yes i work with the younger children the primary but all of the children are such a blessing in our core as i look out and i see the signs of spring and as i sit here now in the garden and see the signs of spring i'm encouraged that although at the moment we are living through a lot of uncertainty and lives are very different and it is very concerning. I can see new life, I can see the flowers budding, I can see the leaves coming on the trees and the blossom coming on the trees. And I'm reminded that God is here, he's in everything that we are doing. So we may be in a world that we don't recognise that none of us have experienced before. But thinking back to the children of the core, thinking back to each person that uh, attends our call. We are each of us children of God, aren't we? And the Bible is filled with examples of people who are helped or encouraged. It doesn't matter if each of us has a little to give or it doesn't matter if we've got a lot to give. It's that it comes from the heart that matters. And we never know just how small an act of kindness, how can it can draw someone closer to God and it can really help them on their journey. Just this last weekend, a lot of us received a flower for Mother's Day arriving on our doorstep. That really encouraged me, as I'm sure it did many of you out there. In John 15, it tells us, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. And yes, we can't be together at, the, at church, but church isn't just in Birmingham Citadel. It's all around us, but we still can love each other and care for each other. And I encourage you to think and spend a little bit of time thinking about people that are blessing you or inspiring you. Because everything we're doing, we are doing to honour our Lord. There's some words, some very old words that I turned to that have helped me over the last couple of years. And those words are, when we cannot see our way, let us trust 
and still obey. He who bids us forward go cannot fail the way to show. So rest assured everyone, we are all children of God and he will show us the way through. Take care everyone.